think we need first of all thanks for having me on the show the point here is that it is not about you know the 600 billion dollar trade deficit which us has with china that is a concern and that we all know but the things have gone much bigger you see with increasing time you come into business with me and you're using my money to kill my systems how does china operate if you have a free legal system they will start your own people will start doing cases against you if you have a free media they will use your own media against you now, if you have a free market, they will have state-run Chinese companies come and kill your local businesses. That's what Huawei and ZT are doing across the world. Now, it has gone to a different level. It's not only about trade deficit and business. Now, China is trying to encroach United States, trying to encroach its people, trying to steal their data, use their AI, use their metadata to control the people of US and the world over. And, you know, they, we know about their AI and metadata and all that. The another important point is that what has happened recently in Hong Kong is a very good move because these are the people who run the agenda of Communist Party of China. It's not the common man of the China roads. He has no say. It's not the common man in Hong Kong. He has no say. These people who are enacted by Communist Party of China, they run their agenda. We need, uh, I have been numerous times to Hong Kong and China, especially to Hong Kong. Hong, Hong Kong is the best cosmopolitan place I've ever seen in the world. The highest skyscrapers, the tallest are not in Chicago, they are in Hong Kong. Now, what have they done with 5% of the expat population and incidentally, you have more than 20,000 strong diaspora there, which is doing very well in Hong Kong. They're contributing to the business, they're paying taxes. And incidentally, that 250,000 maids, which are from all various countries which live in Hong Kong,